What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an anime YouTube banner. Now, I've done a lot of videos like this in the past, but I want to do more focusing on YouTube banners because I know there's so many that you guys want to make for yourselves. And I would want to like do more like anime ones, um, but I actually just don't watch much anime. I don't have much time to watch all the animes that you guys suggest to me. So just let me know down in the description what you guys would want to see in the future because I do want to pump out content like this that you guys enjoy. I just don't know necessarily what you guys would enjoy or what you guys are like into right now but yeah it's been a while since i've made a youtube video so i appreciate all the support that i've received over the past few months even when i haven't been creating content it really means a lot i do see all the comments that really really is awesome so yeah if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more please go ahead and leave a like on this video also subscribe to the channel it really helps me out a lot and yeah let's go ahead and just jump into today's video All right, so as you guys can see here on my desktop, I have all of the same things I have with every other tutorial. I will give you guys the folder and the link for the Google Drive folder um, in the link, top link into the description. Wow, I feel like I'm a little bit rusty at this to be quite honest. So this folder is gonna be in the Google Drive in the top link in the description, as I just said. Um, and in here, you guys are gonna find all of these stuff that you guys normally do with all of my tutorials. You're gonna find the renders, which are completely transparent, so you guys don't have to mess with anything. You're gonna find fonts. You're gonna find some extra fonts too that you guys can use if you guys want to mix it up a little bit and you're going to find each template now we have three in this one you guys can see i have a green one um, this is for deku from mha um, this is kind of one of my favorite ones actually so feel free to download it if you guys want you guys should just go ahead and just download everything here that's what i normally just recommend you to do so you have it all ready when i'm going through the tutorial just to briefly go over the rest of the stuff here quickly um, we do have an orange one for naruto naruto is not my favorite show i watched it a little bit um, growing up, but um, I know a lot of you guys just really like it. I know they added some skins into Fortnite too, which is honestly mind blowing. There's so much stuff that's happened since I've been gone. Anyway, I made a simple one for you guys here. Um, I'll show you guys how to kind of cover up that middle part as well. This is gonna be the one that I'm doing for the example as well for you guys. Um, then we have the YouTube banner, of course. Um, we have the other renders, and then that's pretty much it. I do just wanna briefly discuss that. A lot of people don't know how to use the italicize on Pixlr. Um, so if you wanna be lazy and not italicize it, I have both the fonts here that of the main font that I use for both of them. Um, one's gonna be a tile size, because I know people are gonna ask me in the description the difference, and one is not. So just for you guys, again, who don't know how to tile size, I made it pretty easy for y'all. Um, dot zero, another font that I love for anime type, um, like just graphics, it looks really, really good. Um, and then this one also looks pretty good with, um, you know, just anime type stuff. I think this one's very similar to the other ones as well. So yeah, just make sure you guys go ahead and download all of that. And let's go ahead and just jump into Pixlr. Um, I'll have a link for Pixlr as well in the description for you guys to get there. And yeah, I'll catch you guys there. So here we are on Pixlr. Again, link in the description if you guys want to just click that instead of typing it into your browser. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys already know how to make YouTube banners, but I constantly have new subscribers on the channel. Um, so I'm just going to briefly go over the process of making a YouTube banner. And I know a lot of you don't know how to format it or anything. So I will briefly go over that. I will have timestamps throughout the entire video too. So if you already know how to do that, you can skip ahead and find where you are throughout the tutorial. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit open image. And I'm going to go directly to that folder that you guys would have downloaded from that Google Drive. Here it is. So I'm just going to click on it. And then I'm just going to right away open up that YouTube banner template that I always provide for you guys. Now for this, we do want to make sure we click original. We just don't want to mess with the resolution at all. Um, we're going to click apply. And then you guys can see it kind of loads up here right away. Now go ahead and just figure out whatever um, you know template that you guys want to use, whether it's the green, orange, or the red one. And you're going to click file, open image. And for this example, I'm just going to use the orange Naruto one because that was one of the easier ones I did. Again, you just want to make sure to click on original. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to click on never ask. Uh, I've never asked me about this again, so I don't have to keep getting this. Um, I just don't know if you guys are going to want that to pop up again. Me personally, I don't. So I'm just going to hit apply. Now that we're in here, I'm just going to go ahead and add the renders right away. It's normally the process that I go through when I do this stuff. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to layer. We're going to hit add image as layer. And then we're just going to go ahead and find whichever one we want to use. Now, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, I used both of them. So kind of the strategy I go for is just making sure that that center part's covered up by a character. So it just kind of makes it look a bit more dynamic dynamic and it makes it look much better and that's kind of like the whole purpose of why i have it split like that as you guys can see i added some like naruto comics over on the right side over here so that it kind of gives it a cool element of like splitting between the two um and so we're just gonna kind of make sure that that guy looks all right here um i think that looks pretty cool here honestly i think it kind of looks cool a little bit bigger to be quite frank yeah i think that looks really cool um so we're gonna go ahead and add the next one here we're gonna go to layer add image as layer 
We're going to find that other render that I gave you guys. Um, again, I don't know who made these renders. Um, I didn't personally, but they're really, really cool. And I actually found them on like a Google Drive, like GFX um, Discord group that I'm in. Um, but yeah, I did not make them myself, although they are really, really cool. But we're going to just slide this one behind a little bit. Again, you guys can kind of do it however you want. If you feel like I'm doing it a little bit weird, um, but we got both of those in there. You guys can do the same thing I do. I, I used to do for these. Um, I used to click on the individual PNGs and go to adjustment, brightness and contrast to kind of just give them a little bit of a contrast, make them pop out a little bit, up the brightness, lower it, depending on what you guys think. Um, you can do that for both of them if you guys really, really want to. Now, all we pretty much have left to do for our simple banner here is go ahead and just add our text. Now, the text that I, or the font that I used for the thumbnail is probably one of the best fonts I've ever found for like anime type graphics, and it looks really, really cool. So we're just gonna click the text tool down here on the left. We're gonna hit add the new text layer, and then I already have it downloaded, but how you guys go ahead and download it is you just add local font all the way on the bottom here. And then you guys can just click on whichever one you want. I'm just going to go with the italicized one so I don't have to italicize it on my own. Um, so I'm going to double click that one. It says font was added. So we're going to scroll all the way up to the top and we can see it added right here. I'm going to go ahead and just click that. And then we actually don't want the fill to be red for the font. I'm not sure why it defaulted to that. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and type our name in. I'm going to put Ice Kicks because that is indeed my name. We're going to do it like that. And then I'm just going to take this and I do want it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to drag the size up a bunch here just so it looks good. So now that I have the size that I want here, I'm just going to go to layer and I am going to go to rasterize layer to make that text layer. Now just an image layer and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to free transform on it and I'm just going to drag it to the size of my liking. Um, this way we can kind of like stretch it however we want. So it's not just like a text layer. Um, we're going to do this, we're going to go down a little bit, it's not really liking to work with me either right now. But we're going to put it a little bit behind the picture as well here to add a little bit of like an element there. Um, so we're going to leave it how we have it there. Now if we go back and look at the thumbnail here, yeah, so you guys can see on the thumbnail here, I do have some text underneath with my YouTube. Now you guys can obviously put like your Twitch or whatever you guys, you know, grind on on there. Um, I'm going to again, just for an example, do the same thing I did in the thumbnail and add my um, YouTube. So we're just going to go back to the text tool here. I'm going to click wherever I want it and I'm just going to type in YouTube. I think I want to do all caps for this font though. YouTube.com slash ice kicks. And you know what? I don't even think this font was the same one that I used in the thumbnail. But again, I have the other ones that I did use in there if you guys want to do that one instead and have like the same exact one that I used in the thumbnail. Um, but this one also defaulted to white. So we're just going to make sure we drag the fill to white here. And we're going to make sure to drag the size down because this one's going to be a lot smaller and more than likely underneath here. So we're going to take this and I have it bigger, which is good. I don't want to stretch it too smaller before I rasterize it. Um, so we're going to take this one and we are going to go to layer and we're going to go to rasterize and we're going to go to edit free transform again making sure we're selected on the right layers when we're doing this as well um, and then i'm just going to drag this one um, i'm going to drag it up here i don't want it that stretched out like that yeah this font isn't as good as the other one but it kind of works it kind of works and we've got youtube.com slash ice kicks here i'm going to toss that right underneath here probably right about there and then as you guys can see, we have everything how I had it in the thumbnail. Um, I know this side, this left side of this banner is kind of blank. So that I would like to add a lot of that stuff, but I wanted you guys to be able to add it yourself. So you guys can kind of, you know, customize it to however you want it and not, you know, have everyone have like the same exact banner um, and using the same exact template. So I would suggest adding like some Naruto type stuff on this left side or like anything related. Um, I would recommend just going on Google and kind of just Googling like PNGs that you guys can add. Um, that's honestly what I do when I make a lot of my templates a lot of people think that I find the stuff or I make this stuff myself but I do make some of the stuff myself but a lot of the time I do also just find random PSGs on Google and I just toss them in there and see what looks good um, again you guys can you know customize this however you want so now we're at the finish point here um, I actually forgot to uh, put the template right back right on um, the actual template as you guys can see here I have two separate tabs open um, what I should have done is just drag the template over to here and I should have just worked on here but this totally works um, what I'm gonna do now actually is once you guys have it finished and if you do it the same way I do um, we're gonna hit file and we're gonna hit save I think you can do export um, but we're gonna do save instead we're gonna drag the quality up to 100% that's key we want 100% you know high quality image it's gonna be on your YouTube channel um, we can definitely just do a JPEG 
um i think normally i used to do like a png but i really don't think it matters anymore um but we're gonna hit, like, click save um we'll make sure to name it wherever we want um i'm just gonna name it final banner even though it's not quite the final version um we're gonna download that to our desktop here and yeah i guess there's ads now on pixlr here but um we got it all downloaded so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the template here and i'm gonna go to layer add image as layer and i'm just gonna go ahead and find that banner that i just downloaded a few seconds ago as you guys can see it's right here i named the final banner and once you double click on it it will automatically add it and the key thing is you guys do not want to move it around once you add it at all i created it so that right when you add it it automatically kind of fits itself directly into the middle the direct the proportions are all perfect so you guys just don't want to move it at all what you can do is you can right click and i believe you can just lock this too if you guys want to edit it without kind of moving the original like one that i made um so now you guys have it how you want it as you can see for desktop we have the name and kind of the characters in it um if you guys want to move the like your name a little bit over so that your name shows on mobile um that's definitely a recommendation i didn't really think about that while i was making it but you definitely kind of want your name to be in that mobile section so that someone views your profile on youtube you know from their phone which is a majority of people these days you want your whole name and everything you want to show up in that little section if you know what i mean so now that you have this you do want to download this so we're gonna hit file and we're gonna put save and this one again you're gonna want the quality dragged up to 100 percent and we're gonna save as and this is gonna be the very final version that you guys are gonna upload to your youtube channel so i'm just gonna name it youtube banner final version and i'm gonna click save and as you guys can see definitely popped up on my heat on my uh my desktop right here if i can speak english we're gonna double click this and then we have our final YouTube banner right here. You guys can follow the same process, mixing it up with fonts for the other two. Um, I do have renders for the other characters again in that Google Drive. All you have to do from here, as you guys know, is just go to your YouTube channel, click on the top banner or click on settings, go to your customization and go ahead and just add this to there and it should automatically format it to to your youtube profile so there's nothing you have to do um formatting wise when you're actually uploading it to your youtube channel as your youtube banner and yeah i think that i pretty much covered everything in this video again if you guys have any questions down below let me know i always go through them answer most of them especially if you guys have questions about graphics i always answer them in the comments so definitely leave one um, i do also have a discord i'm trying to be more active on it um it is linked in the description so if you guys do want to check that out um i think my instagram is also linked under there if you guys also want to check that out again i do appreciate you guys for watching i also do again appreciate all the support that i received over the break so yeah i think that's about it uh thank you guys for watching again i will catch you guys in the next video on the channel peace